Ah, man. Um, you know, it's really tough to go from a state of complete and utter disappointment to now trying to make a video about something entirely different. But you know what? We are going to get through this, guys. Uh, I'm going to pretend for now that the global compensation crap didn't happen. If you guys want my full reactions to everything, feel free to go check out my video from earlier today. I'll link it above my head. But uh, yeah, in this video, we're going to talk about the most recent global data download that happened this morning. As you guys can see, all of the same day stuff has officially been scheduled and it's going to be releasing on uh, tonight, Ashley, March 17th at 11, 18 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Now, the time seems super random, but if you convert that to, I believe, Eastern Daylight Time, it's actually 318 Eastern Daylight Time or is it Eastern Standard Time? I don't know. Time zones are still kind of confusing to me, but in some time zone, it's 318 a.m. And the reason they made it that is because obviously Saiyan Day is on March 18th. So it's actually kind of cool that they did that. But uh, if you guys are confused about like the different time conversions, just pop over to the Dokkan Wiki here. Or the, uh, sorry, DBC Space. No, actually, this is the Dokkan Wiki. So pop over to the Dokkan Wiki and there will be a countdown to the exact moment that uh, the banner releases. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, less than 24 hours away, the uh, Broly is coming, the Super Saiyan Teen Trunks is coming at the same time, and uh, they also rescheduled the World Tournament characters, because obviously our World Tournament was delayed, so now they're coming out on April 22nd, okay, that's when the next World Tournament on Global is going to take place. Um, in yeah, roughly a month from now, uh, I guess the reason they did that was because they didn't want the world tournament to interfere with any of the other things that they had already planned for like, you know, upcoming celebrations. So I guess it makes sense. It is what it is. And uh, one other thing that has also that has also been scheduled is the Extreme Z Awakening for the STR LR Broly. And that's coming out in about five days from now on March 22nd, okay? So uh, yeah, guys, that was the data download. Of course, before we get out of here, we're gonna quickly check out the, the assets that were added to the game. A big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting this. Make sure to hit him up with a follow if you guys haven't yet done so. And um, we're gonna pop down to the bottom here. By the way, yo, guys, you can tell we're doing something a little bit different here. Uh, I recently got this new headset just to make streaming a little bit easier because like with a stationary mic, I can't move around as much. So I decided to grab this. The mic quality from what I can tell is pretty good, but let me know in the comments down below um, what you guys think about this uh, sound quality. Okay, because if it's good, I'm going to just keep using this for, you know, not like videos necessarily, but like for streams for sure. And every once in a while, I'll use it for a video. If it's bad, I'll go back to the Yeti mic. But it's just a little bit annoying to have this like giant mic, you know, floating in front of my face. So uh, anyways, taking a look at the assets. We have some story assets for the legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Obviously, this is also his card art. Uh, there's the uh, SSR or the TUR rather. And this is the SSR art. And then we have base Broly. Uh, I think this art was already in the game. Maybe they just updated it to make it a little bit um, more HD. Not really sure, but I've definitely seen this art before. And uh, what else do we have? Oh, we have the wallpaper. We have Broly versus Goku, which is going to be the co-op campaign uh, reward for, uh, you know, Saiyan Day. And we also have the Extreme Z Awakening Medal for Broly. As you can see, it is going to be an Extreme Z battle. Um, which is awesome because we love Extreme Z battles. We don't like Extreme Z areas as much. And uh, we also have some more assets for the EZA event for Broly. Some more assets here for his EZA event once again, his SSR, TUR, and then his LR form. 
and uh, more extremes, the Awakening Medals now, and this is for the Hero Extermination Plan, EZAs. Uh, this Gohan, I believe, is getting his EZA tomorrow, or tonight, and uh, this Goku is getting his EZA in about a week from now, roughly a week. Okay, so if you guys have these two units, which you should, because they are pretty common, then uh, yeah, they're both getting EZA soon on the, on the global side. And uh, these are their sticker masks, I believe, and also the new stages of uh, the Extreme Z area event to get their Extreme Z Awakening medals. And what else do we have here? Oh, new infinite Dragon Ball history stage. Uh, the same as before, you know, just five squares. You're basically going to the enemy. You're going to fight, you know, all the stages and then you complete the stage. So a very basic uh, level there. We have a new, uh, what is it called again? Category. <laughs> A new category, Planetary Destruction, which is Broly's uh, category that he leads. And I took a look at it. It looks pretty decent. We'll take a look together in a second. Uh, we have the new Dokkan event stage for Broly as well, in addition to his uh, Dokkan Awakening Medal. And we also have the new assets for the Super Saiyan Teen Trunks with a uh, partner or unit super attack when you have a Gohan, a Teen Gohan. Or no, uh, a youth Gohan on rotation. And here are the card assets for the legendary Super Saiyan Broly. And I think that about does it. So in summary, we got Int, uh, legendary Super Saiyan Broly, STR, Super Saiyan Teen Trunks, Infinite Dragon Ball History Level 3, or sorry, Level 13, Extreme Z Area Hero Extermination Plan Levels 11 and 12, uh, Extreme Z Battle for STR LR Super Saiyan Broly and the wallpaper Broly vs. Goku. Okay, once again, a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting that. And now we're going to pop over to the Dokkan Wiki and take a look at uh, the details for these three or two new units, one new Extreme Z Awakening. But uh, first, we're going to check out Planetary Destruction. So it says, consists of characters responsible for the destruction of a planet or moon. So, you know, Piccolo is gonna be in there. And the leader, of course, is this Broly. We, of course, have some other Brolies in there. Uh, mostly the Z Brolies, not the, um, actually, let me just check. Yeah, not not the uh, Super Broly, okay? Just the Z Brolies. And uh, some other usual suspects, you know, we got Cell, we got Piccolo, we got Turles. Uh, some Friezas are in here as well. And who else do we have? Uh, Cooler, of course. Uh, more Turlises, a couple of Boos. A um, couple of Beeruses. Makes sense. And Kid Boo. Uh, Vegeta. Yeah, I mean, pretty much everybody I would expect to be here. I'm trying to think if there's like anybody that was left out. Uh, maybe. I can't think right now, though. So... If there are omissions, feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, it's, a, it's a decent category, I would say. It's definitely not the biggest category. And uh, you will want to pair this with uh, most likely, you know, movie bosses, which is his other uh, lead, his other category that he leads. So, uh, yeah, rolly details. For anybody that doesn't know, I know I've gone through this multiple times, but just in case, if you guys already know what they do, then feel free to, you know, end the video now. But... If you don't, then keep watching. We got Planetary Destruction or Movie Bosses, Category Key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and Attack and Defense plus 170%. Super Attack raises Attack and Defense and causes immense damage. And Passive is Key plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 180%, reduces damage received by 18%, and Chance of Performing a Critical Hit plus 18%. Launches an additional attack that, is a me that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, plus an additional key plus 3, and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, and reduces damage received by 18% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 18% within the same turn after performing a super attack, when there is a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy. A lot to take in, but basically, you can get up to... 36% uh, damage reduction and 36% more crit chance and launch up to three supers 
with his passive. And then if you have some hidden potential investment, he can get up to 4 supers in a turn. Active skill, Q plus 6, attack plus 60%, and attacks effective against all types for one turn can be activated after performing 4 or more super attacks in battle once only. And links are saying warrior race, super Saiyan, the Saiyan lineage, berserker, prepare for battle, hardened grudge, and fierce battle. And categories are movie bosses, pure saints, full power, target Goku, exploding rage, inhuman deeds, and planetary destruction. And of course, his active skill is calculated separately, so he gets a total boost of 348% uh, attack when you use his active skill while being effective against all types so obviously he's going to be doing a stupid amount of damage uh, that turn especially given the fact that he can launch up to four supers and he also raises attack and defense for every single super attack right now moving on to the uh the super saiyan trunks here he's a hybrid saiyan's lead key plus four hp attack and defense plus 120 percent super attack raises attack and defense for one turn causes supreme damage and stuns the enemy or medium chance of stunning the enemy but his unit super attack or the partner super attack which can be used when there's an ally whose name includes gohan youth attacking in the same turn greatly raises attack for one turn raises defense and causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy and then his passive is attack and defense plus 200 percent medium chance of launching an additional super attack hybrid saiyans category allies key plus three Attack and defense plus 40%. And then links are messenger from the future, Super Saiyan, Cold Warrior. Or sorry, Golden Warrior. I do that all the time. Uh, Golden Warrior, Cold Judgment, Royal Lineage, Dismal Future, a Fierce Battle. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Movie Heroes, Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyans, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Battle of Wits. And uh, yeah, there you go. The side unit trunks looking really, really solid. And finally, we have the EZA for Broly. His uh, leader skill is going to be STR types, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Uh, super attack 12 key, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage to all enemies. And then the 18 key, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And then passive is attack and defense plus 50% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% and launches an additional super attack when performing a super attack. And then key plus 5 when there is a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy, attacks effective against all types and guaranteed to hit when there is a Goku's family category enemy. Of course, links and categories are the same. His stats are the same. They're already incredibly high though. 23,480 attack at rainbow status. And uh, also, of course, his super attack goes from 20 to 25. And uh, that is the Broly Easy 8. I think they did an amazing job. This guy is going to hit so, so hard. And also, after he supers, he's going to be getting a great amount of defense. You know, like he's already getting 50% here, and then after he supers, he's going to get 50 more percent, and also 30 more percent from here. So, um, yeah, he is awesome. That's a, that's a really good Extreme Z Awakening. And that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. That was the data download. Um, hope you guys are excited for Broly's release. You know, your boy will definitely be summoning as soon as the banner drops, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Keep an eye out for the scheduled stream um and we also have a few collabs planned as well so yeah look forward to all that stuff it's all dropping within the next 15 hours if you're watching this video when it comes out um obviously it's going to be different times depending on when you watch this video but uh it's soon guys it's very very soon so uh get excited i'm looking forward to it i will see you guys very soon in the next video or stream and uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media.
Signing out.